Well, buyers, let's talk about this opportunity here. And as I said, you're all here for a reason here, coming into summer, and you can see why. You look at this lovely level block of land, approximately 632 square metres on offer here today. Four good sized bedrooms here today. And buyers, for those swimming enthusiasts, I understand there is DA approval for a pool. Obviously, you've got to go through that process and subject to all the relevant council approvals from there. But buyers, let's just walk through it. Look at the garden here today, perfectly manicured here. The attention to detail and the presentation, I'm sure you'll agree, really is a credit to our vendor. Gardens, and look at that new, the kitchen, how they've done it there. It's just terrific here. Buyers, we're coming into Christmas. I can only imagine between the indoor, the outdoor entertaining here today, what it would be like. Christmas day, Boxing day, to say the least. You've got the shops, high street shops, not to mention Castle Craig, buses that run right throughout the metropolitan Sydney. This is not just an investment financially, buyers. It's also for a lifestyle here. And for the families here today, the schools in the catchment area here, this part of the lower North Shore, there's a reason why it is in such high demand. Buyers, I'm going to hand it over to you now. I can see there are some faces here and a good crowd wanting to get proceedings underway. I wish you well for number 14, Edinburgh Road here in Willoughby. Opening bidding offer, where would you like to see bidding commence? Just one at a time, if you will there, buyers. You tell me what's on your mind. Perhaps at the lower end of your spectrum within reason. 2.7. Can I just get your card there, please, sir? Just the number. One. Better card, number one. And I wish you well at 2,700,000. I'm happy to see the next move. We can move in increments of 25, or you can put your foot on the accelerator and call it 2.75 and keep me going if I may. The gentleman, he's jumped out of the blocks. Looks like he wants to make good use of that DA and build a pool now. At 2.7, call it now 2725 and keep me going if I may. Gentleman holds up the back and I wish you there. Fairly bit an offer at $2.7 million. Opportunity is right in front of you now, ladies and gentlemen. Can I say 2725? Or has the one and only bid potentially secured the property here at 2,700,000? No better bids. Ladies and gentlemen, be... Bid card number two. And I wish you well. You didn't have that for long there, sir. 2725. Can I say two and three quarters for you if you like from there? Need to ask your advisor there just next to you there. At two and seven, two five. Two in the bidding, two in the play, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the turnout here today. At two and seven, two five, left hand side, away from you. Looks like the gentleman's having a good chat to his advisor there. At two seven, two five, can I say? Two point seven five for you, sir, and put your back in front. Level lawn here. Enjoy the delights. At two point seven two five. Can I say two and three quarter million? Or are we all done here? At two million seven hundred and twenty five thousand dollars. No better bids. Well, sir, it's a good thing that you came to the auction here today. At 2.725, bid now first at 2,725,000, left-hand side. You play it well. Can I say another 25 before we go, or ma'am in front? At 2 and 725. I'll just give Jimmy a moment here today. Good turn at here, and on the left-hand side, talking to some of our parties here. At 2 and 725, before we go, and I'll just give Jimmy a moment there in George. I know there were some parties there on the side. At two and seven two five. Current bid is at two million seven hundred and twenty-five thousand here today. This California two seven five? Two point eight. Bit of card number one. He doesn't hesitate. Two million eight hundred thousand. Beat that. So can I say eight two five for you? At two million eight hundred thousand. Increase off of there, George. It's a big decision. We know that coming into summer at 2,800,000. I love the smiles I'm seeing, but another 25,000 would be delightful and better for your cause at $2.8 million. Another 25, and on my left hand side, you're out at that level there at 2,800,000. $2, Sir, 25,000, can I ask before we go? At 2.8. Bid now first. No better bids. Right hand side is out at that, in front, at 2.8. Sir, can I take 25,000 before we go? It's a big decision, I know. At 2.8. Bid now second. Sir? 
No, we're at 2.8. 2825. 2825,000. 8.50. Can I just get your card again there, sir? Bit of card number one, was it? Thank you, sir. 2.85. Thank you. He's back in front, back in the fray there at 2.85. He's lunged for the keys. And we'll see where we go from here. Big block of land here, as I said before, approximately 632 square metres at 2.85. Sir, can I say 2.875 for you or 2.9 to put your foot back on the accelerator? At 2,850,000, the left is out. The front is in at this stage at 2.85. Sir, you're definitely gone? 2.86, I'll work with you. 2,860,000 now. Would you go straight to 2.9? I'll give you the same courtesy, sir. Would you like 10,000? No? Just trying to help. 2.86. Okay. With you, sir. Out on my left. Are we all done here? At 2,860,000. No better bids. Bid now first. At 2,860,000. Bid now second. All silent. All done at 2,860,000. Bid now third at 2,860,000. Patience, sir. I just need to seek some instructions. We're a fraction under where we need to be. 2.86, the bid is with you. Bid of card number two, sir, is that right? Thank you, sir. 2.86, I just need to seek some instructions at this stage. I'll hold that. Bid of card number two holds. Thank you, Rick. 2.86. Okay. Here, Auctioneer Sam Horwitz there is just taking a little pause. Um, we're sitting at 2,860,000. They've just had to seek a little bit of a guidance from the vendor. Starting off at 2.7, we've just had a few jumps up in bid uh, in increments, trying to nudge obviously closer to that $2.9 million figure, which was the guide when we spoke to um, Jimmy Saltis. All right, we're going to tune back in. Remiss of me not to mention the cabana here on the left-hand side. And we thank you for your patience here today. And as I said, I'm sure you'll all agree. I think it was well worth the wait. It's been a fantastic competition. And the opportunity is just absolutely first class. 2.86 million. Just get some instructions from Jimmy. I'll just ask for your patience again. It's well worth the wait, Rick. George and Jim, if I can just. And ma'am, if you are wanting, I'm happy to take a 10,000 if that helps. Conversations are plenty, but when you're fighting for good real estate, it's to be expected. 2.86. Lovely to see all the kids here today. It's a fantastic community and lifestyle around here. Just Jimmy giving a moment, chatting to one of our buyers who've registered here today. He's had good interest throughout. Oh, there's a bit of an awkward pause there in that auction, isn't there? Uh, they're really trying to stimulate the bidding to get it up a bit higher than where it currently sits at uh, 2.86. Yeah, a little bit of discussion just to see if they can nudge the crowd. And the crowd is quite strong there, so if you can see them, it's a beautiful shot from our cameraman live on site. You can see the sales uh, team there now just walking around through the crowd to see if they can generate a little bit of conversation and to get the, to nudge the, uh, the bidding up a little bit higher. And you know, I said inside when we looked internally and externally, contrast, and if this beautiful shot of the backyard doesn't say anything, it says contrast. Beautiful rich green, the dark timber of the brand new deck, those beautiful stepping stones and, and 
and, and the, the uh, cabana, which has now become a, a party central instead of it being a, a garage. But is it timber that we're seeing there or is it paint? Well, it's a painted finish, Sophie Hole. So it's gonna, <laughs> it's giving that beautiful gloss finish. Um, it's actually much harder wearing outside than the stain on there and being so exposed. Um, you know, I love using natural timber and I use it a lot in my jobs too, but the uh, being that it has no roof on it, the, that's a painted finish on there and you can see the sheen and that's just, uh, would take the elements a little bit better because there is no roof. And interestingly for a renovation, they have not gone up high, they've gone wide, so that wouldn't require any council um, requirements because it's soft landscaping, the water can go through it and it, it doesn't have a roof so it's not a structure. So it's actually been a clever thing that they've been able to add extending the living area out into that beautiful very flat backyard which as you said before was already um, previously approved for a swimming pool should the people who are looking to buy it um, decide to put one in the, the the people at the moment obviously maybe uh, judging by market decided not to spend the money and put them in during their renovation yeah well an awful lot of work has gone into this renovation in the past 18 months uh, and as we mentioned a little bit earlier in 2017 this house was purchased for uh, one, uh, sorry, 2.525, uh, and that's just 18 months ago. And in that time, there's been quite extensive work done. Uh, we've unearthed the original pictures, and the whole facade of the house looks quite different, doesn't it, with those new windows? Yeah, and they did. Change that front structure a bit. Uh, obviously, all the floors are different. New kitchen and. Uh, that they've, the they've alterations they've made that to back. that cabana area. Yeah, I, I'd happily live in there, so you can have the main house. I'll live out the back quite happily. Beautiful new kitchen in there, and I, yeah, you mentioned those floors. I think they're stunning, and they just show just how strong, um, you know, really good contrast can be. And because it's dark, it's on the floor, it's not on the walls. All of the wall is quite light and bright, so the rooms feel large and inviting. Being a California bungalow, you can see that beautiful uh, picture rail running around the ceiling and making the, the adding to the, the feeling of height. Um, and the new bathrooms and look at that backyard level screaming for a pool to go in um, but at the moment it's a big nice uh, green very lush lawn with the the rains that we've had in uh, Sydney um, and they've been quite blessed with the the weather coming at the sun coming out today uh, for this auction and that sandstone fence which looks so original I you know this is my world as well and I could drive down that street and I wouldn't pick that that's a brand new fence I think it's been done very sympathetically to the original era and also to the street because there's lots of Californian bungalows in that area um, and so it's it's that balance when you're renovating so for being able to keep the beautiful architectural detail but renovating in the right place and for for the Australian market bathrooms and kitchens people tend to like to be fresh and new the uh, the uh, rest of the house is there they're back out there talking now let's listen to auctioneer Sam Horwitz what he's got to say a bit of work to do so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna call it three more times again if there are no better bids sir I'll pass the property side and you'll have the first right to negotiate and actually we'll negotiate with all the registered parties here today so at this level at 2.86 million dollars we're bidding for the first right to negotiate okay at 2.86 million I'll call it three times buyers, and I know James is in the corner there, in front. At 2.86, I'll take 10,000, ma'am, and likewise up the back. And in front, sir, at 2.86, call it now first. At 2.86 million. At 2,860,000. Bid now second. At 2,860,000. No better bid, sir. Out there, out up the back. Third and final call at 2,860,000. Sir, I'm going to pass the property aside. I wish you well for negotiations afterwards. For all our registered parties here today and all with interest, please make yourselves known to Jimmy and the team. I'm sure a result isn't far away and I wish you well. Thank you very much for coming and have a terrific day. Oh, well, that one passed in there at 14 Edinburgh Road in Willoughby. Um, despite the fine work of Sam Horowitz there, he just couldn't quite get that one over the line today. Uh